welcome to the class in this class i am going to discuss about system of linear congruence scheme to variables okay so what is the statement for two variables consider system of linear congruence in two variables one is ax plus by congruent to r mod n and cx plus dy congruent to s mod n if these are two system of equations uh, in linear congruence then this system have has unique solution if and only if gcd of ad minus bc comma n is equal to 1 this is the statement for solution of two variables okay we have we say these two equations have a unique equation uh, unique solution these two have unique solution what is the condition to be satisfied if and only if the gcd gcd of ad minus bc comma this n n is common is equal to 1 means what ad minus bc comma n they should be relatively prime numbers that's it okay before already let me explain uh, one thing uh, consider it as a remark mm -hmm. consider linear congruence Here we have two system of equations. Okay, two variables. Consider linear congruence in two variables. Linear congruence in two variables. This is that equation. We consider it as a x plus b y is congruent. Let us just say take this C mod n. Okay. What happens according to this? A x plus b y is congruent to C mod n if G C D of A B n. What is the condition? It has solution. It has solution. This is for single equation. If and only if G C D of A B comma n understood this A B and n is uh, divisible by this C. Okay, G C D of A B and n divisible by C. Then you call it as solution. And you people know first you recall or to recall already you have studied the linear congruence in one variable. What is that? A x congruent to B mod. n it has solutions what we stated there if and only if gcd of a comma n is divided by b s there we have studied no this gcd of a and n it is divisible by b then you can say it has a unique solution in the same way here we are considering this way for two variable two equations two system of equations here okay these two equations we are considering system of equations in two variables that's why it has a solution if ad minus bc comma this n the area of this is equal to 1 then we say it has a unique solution this is a statement for Two variables. Okay, now we we'll solve example. Then we we'll come to understand how to find the solution of given system of linear equations in two variables. These are the given two equations. For these two system of equations, we need to find the unique solutions. We we'll call them as equation one and two. Call this as one. Call this as two. 
7 x plus 3 y congruent 10 mod 16 and 2 x plus 5 y congruent 9 mod 16. Now when you compare this with a general form, this is a general form a x plus b y is equal to r mod n and here c x plus d y congruent to s mod n. When you compare with this, what that means? This a here, then here a is 7, b is 3, r is 10, then c is 2, d is 5, and s is 9. For these two, n is common, n is 16. Now, what's it? We need to find whether we need to check whether this system of equation independently each equation has solution or not. So for that, instead of This video seven three sixteen is what this one and this video two five sixteen this is also one okay it will take place this video AB comma N and DC this video C D comma M for both the equations. Both are divisible by C. They are in that form. So this implies linear congruence have solution. This is for each system of equation okay now for together what we need to check whether they have a unique solution or not for to check unique solution the gcd must be gcd of ad minus bc comma n we check so gcd of two system of equation again now oh, solution unique GCD of AD minus BC comma N no 1 bar big. A into D no A is 7, D is 5. 7 into 5, BC. D is 3 into 2, comma N. N is 16. GCD of 35 minus 6, comma 16. Means for GCD of 23 comma 16 what is this it is 1 if it is so what it implies therefore given system has unique solution okay? because this is 1 now we need to find what is that solution means how to find that to find that solution is the uh, same way uh, how you are going to solve the system of equations in your algebra how you used to do in the same way we need to solve equation 1 and 2 for x and y one time eliminate y find x one time eliminate x and find y that's it same procedure as you, as you used to do in your if i want to eliminate y then multiply equation 1 with Coefficient of y in equation 2. Coefficient of y in equation 2 is 5. Okay. Then subtract with equation 2, multiply with coefficient of y that is 3. And what it gives? 
So what it gives? 55x plus 15y equal to n. Okay. So when you subtract, so what will you do? 55 minus 6, 29x. These two will get cancelled. Congruent 50 minus 27. So it is 23 mod 16. But 29 and 23 are bigger than 16. When you divide it by 16, then 29 minus 16 is 13x congruent to 23 minus 16 is 7 mod 16. So now we need to find the x. Okay. So I want to find x means what? 13x equal to in linear congruences. I told you how to write the equation for x it is 16 into some k is 7 x equal to 16k plus 7 or we want x 16k plus 7 divided by 30 now we need to check for which k is satisfied so go on substituting the values when you put 0 Obviously, 7 by 13 is a smaller number. Put 1, 16 plus 7, you will get 25 by 13. So, put 2, 32 plus 7, 39. If k is equal to 2, x is equal to 16 into 2 plus 7 divided by 13. That is x equal to 32 plus 7 by 13. That is 39 by 13. What it implies? This implies x is equal to b. So x is equal to b. Therefore, how you can write? You can write x congruent 3 mod 16. x value. Now, to find y. Now, to find y. We have to eliminate x. To eliminate x, again for the equation 1 and 2, you have to subtract, multiply with coefficient of x. First one, equation 2 minus equation 1. So then what happens? 14x plus 35y congruent to 63 more 16. Now here it is 14x plus 6y congruent to 20 mod 16. Subtract now. So I get 29y is congruent to 63 minus 20. 43 mod 16. So again, these two are bigger than 16. Divide them by 16. So when you divide them by 16, it is 13y congruent to 11 mod 16. Okay. Then you can write it as 13y is equal to 16k plus 11. Or you can write it as y is equal to 16k plus 11 divided by 13. Now go on substituting value for k and check whether it is divisible by 13. Now when you put 0, it is 11 by 13. So now put k as 1, 16 plus 11. So it will be 7 by 13. So not divisible by 13. So go on substituting for k equal to 5. You will get the value. That is when you put k as 5, y is 16 into 5 plus 11 divided by 13. Okay. So, what will you get? Ninety one by thirteen, so that is seven. 
y is equal to 7. Therefore, y is congruent to 7 mod 16. Okay, so we have the solutions. Now. What are the unique solution? Whatever answers you have, these two are unique. Therefore, this is how to solve the given system of equations. Okay, yes, I am going to solve. One more example which has been asked in your question paper, model question paper. Till then practice this. If you have any doubts, please post your doubt in the comment box. If you are not yet subscribed my channel, do subscribe. If you are subscribed my channel, subscribe my channel. Next further videos notification. Do support like this only. Thank you.